What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Sports Talk with Will. Um, yeah, so I'm recapping today's Denver Broncos versus New York Jets game. And uh, yeah, it's just... <laughs> oh, man. Just absolutely disgraceful. I mean, this game was so bad in all aspects. We just sucked today. Forget what the score said. The Jets played like absolute crap today. It was a terrible game. I, I mean, honestly, a lot of people are to blame for this loss. Some people are putting a lot of blame on Rodgers. Yeah, there were so many throws he should have been making. Yes, that's for sure. Brees Hall, I don't know why he can't do anything on the run game. Why are Why is our run game so bad? Reese Hall can't do anything on the run game. And um I just don't understand why can't why can't we just do anything on the run game? And also Nathaniel Hackett, why are we having Aaron Rodgers throw the throw the ball 42 times? What are we doing, Hackett? What are we doing? Why are we not running the football? Why are we not running the football. Like, come on, run the damn ball, Hackett. This is ridiculous. Run the football. Robert Sella, let me tell you something. You made a dumb decision in the fourth quarter. Why why on earth did you think it was a good idea for the Jets to go for it on that fourth down and 10 at their own 45? We had three timeouts we had three timeouts and we could have had we could have punted and pinned Denver deep in their own territory they would have punted and we'd be closer and then Zerline wouldn't have to kick from 40 from 50 yards also Zerline what the hell is wrong with you why can't you make anything both of your pretty much most of your field goals today were just barely inside the upright just barely inside the upright. What is wrong with you? Why are you so bad right now? Like, what is the matter with you? you you're you're so bad right now. That New England game, you looked horrible. And this game, too. It's like, what is wrong with you? I get it. You're used to not kicking field goals because the offense was doing well for a bit. But what are you doing? Why can't you do anything? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And I'm not usually critical of the defense, but today I'm going to criticize them. For the majority of the, for, for the most part, they were good as usual. But why can't we stop the run? Why are we so bad at stopping the run? We can't stop the run if our freaking lives depend on it. We can't stop a nosebleed. This is ridiculous. Hold on a sec. Let me see this. How many rushing yards do the Broncos get? They had 126 rushing yards. How many times did they run the ball? Oh, they ran the ball 31 times. And Well, let me exclude Bo Nix running the ball. Okay, so 25, 26 rushes. How many times did we run the ball today? 18 times. 18 times. Brees Hall averaged 4.3 yards per carry, and Braylon Allen struggled 0.4 yards per carry. And I do not want to hear any excuses about the rain. I don't want to hear any excuses. There were no, there was no excuse to lose this game. Yeah, the Broncos defense is good. I wasn't underestimating them. I know the Broncos defense is good. But are you kidding me? Why can't the defense stop the run? Why the 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 Broncos the bro just. Why, why, why are we, why do we make such dumb decisions? And also, I mean, penalties. Are you kidding me? How many, we committed, how many penalties do we commit? Oh, we committed a lot of penalties. Let me see. How many penalties did the Jets commit? 13 penalties. (laughs) 13 penalties. Are you serious right now? 13 freaking penalties. You committed 13 penalties. What is wrong with you? Why can't... This is this is a Robert Sala loss. This is a typical Robert Sala loss. Terrible decisions. 
terrible play calling, terrible, terrible defense can't stop the run, and we're committing too many freaking penalties. What is wrong with us? Why are we so bad with the penalties? The penalties need to stop. We literally came into this game into the season saying we have to stop committing so many penalties. And we commit 13 today. The Broncos only had five. Five freaking penalties. What is wrong with us? So overall, all three aspects of the game, all three aspects, offense, defense, special teams, we were not good. I'd say we did a decent job of getting after Bo Nix, except for when they scored the touchdown. But why? I It's so aggravating that we can't freaking just, that we can't do anything to stop the run, that we can't freaking... I, I'm really mad at the coaches for this loss. Sa- I'm really mad at Sal and Hackett. I'm a, I'm a little I'm ups, I'm upset at the defense for not stopping the run. Rodgers definitely could have played he, they he could have played better, but he's not fully to blame for this loss. The offensive line definitely had their moments, but that's because that's be, well I mean but just to, but to me to be fair the Denver defense is good but um. Oh, uh, freaking, uh, it was Tyron Smith. That sack on that fourth down and 10. Tyron Smith, what the hell are you doing? I, I don't want to hear any excuse about the rain. I, I don't want to hear any excuses about the rain. Honestly, I think I've lost my trust in Robert Sala. I think this game, I want him, I I think I want him fired. Serious. I, I, I think I want Robert Sala fired. Seriously. I, I might. I really think that the Jets need to go in a different direction. But the thing is, the only the thing is, as long as Rodgers is here, uh, Salah and Hackett are staying because Rodgers likes them. And if Rodgers likes them, Rodgers stay. They stay because Rodgers has full control. Over, basically, Rodgers has full control over decisions and stuff. But yeah, I mean, just an awful game in general. We cannot have Rodgers throwing the ball over 40 times. What are we doing? Why is Rodgers why do we have Rodgers throwing the ball over 40 times? And please, I, I don't want to hear any excuses about receivers dropping passes cuz of the rain. No. No freaking excuses about that. You've played in these situations before. How many rain games do we have last year? Let me think. Uh New England, week 3 last year, we lost. How many you realize how many freaking games did we lose in the rain last year? I think we lost about... Oh man, we lost quite a few. We we only won like one game in the rain last year. It was terrible. It was terrible. Just... This was a terrible game. This was an absolutely terrible game. And I honestly saw this coming. Because the Jets had... The Jets are just so bad with living up to expectations. The Jets are not a team that can live up to expectations. You think they can, they can't. They can't live up to expectations. I knew the expectations were starting to hit, and I was like, oh, here we go. Expectations, we're screwed. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, we're screwed. And there's no, and honestly, the real, there is no, there is no excuse for this loss. You know why? You had 10 freaking days to prepare for this freaking game, and you couldn't win. You had 10 days to prepare for this game. You played Thursday Night Football last week. You had 10 days to prepare, and you couldn't beat the freaking Broncos at home. At home. If this was Denver, maybe I would not be so angry. But this is MetLife Stadium. We cannot be losing at home a lot this year. We can't. We can't. This is an inexcusable loss. It falls on everyone. It falls on the entire team. The entire team. Just the entire team in general is to blame. Everyone is to blame. So, this needs to be cleaned up. And we're 2-2 two and two now. We should honestly be 1-3. and three. I mean, we got lucky in that game against Tennessee. We should have lost to Tennessee. 
We're just lucky that Will Levis was absolutely horrible. The Titans, if, if Will Levis played well, the Titans would have beaten us. But we're lucky that Will Levis did not play well. So we got lucky there. New England, we dominated. So really, we should be 1-3 and three right now, but we're 2-2. Two and two. But, yeah. So yeah, 2-2. Two and two. And next week, and now we got to head overseas. We got to head over. We got to head overseas to the United Kingdom, as we're going to be facing the Minnesota Vikings in London next week. I am not. I am very nervous. I'm not confident at all about that game. No, I'm not. I have no optimism at all for this team. For this game, Sam Darnold. Do you see how Sam Darnold is playing? And do you see how that Vikings defense is playing? How are we going to shut him down? How are we going to shut down the run game? How are we going to shut down Aaron Jones? How? Explain to me how we're going to shut down the run game. We're so bad at stopping the run. It is so bad. It is so freaking bad. Our run defense is so bad. That's our issue on defense. Other than that, we're fine. But on the touchdown by the Broncos, I mean, I how was nobody on Cortland Sutton? I I don't know what our defense was, what our secondary was doing. I don't know why nobody was on Cortland Sutton there. That was a damn. That was an awful freaking. That was awful uh, defense. That was awful coverage there. That was terrible. That was terrible. So yeah, I just had to let out my frustration. I'm not happy with this game, with this, with how this team is looking right now. Yeah, we have two wins, but. It, it was such a terrible game today. So, Jets are 2-2, two and, two, and they head overseas to take on the Minnesota Vikings uh, next week. See you guys later, and go Jets.